Welcome back. Plans to add a contraception vending machine to the University of Florida campus are nearly complete. The push to stock machines with so-called Plan B pills at UF started all the way back in 2017. But now, planners just need to find a place to put it. WUFT's Henry Coburn today spoke to the organization behind the movement ahead of its next meeting tonight. Henry, why exactly is this process taking such a long time? Ellie and Mary Grace, the National Women's Liberation Gainesville chapter has already secured funding for the vending machine. The university is even stocked up on morning after pills like these. But as you said, no one seems to know where to put the machine to best serve students. When you swipe your card and punch in the code for what you want, most vending machines dispense your drink or snack of choice. But the National Women's Liberation, or NWL, says there's still something missing. Emergency contraceptives. Aliyah DeLong says her organization has been pushing for the installation of a vending machine for morning after pills since 2017, a move that would make Plan B more accessible. However, critics on campus have one primary reservation. If they are going to be an increasing activity and service fees to make it more widely, like, a more, more widespread around campus, I would have to be against it. People need their money, and we don't want to charge students for something that only part of the population is going to use. But NWL says funding for the vending machine and the contraceptives would come through the campus infirmary and pharmacy, costing students no extra money overall. The hang-up comes with where to put the machine, and WL says the right student union refused. Now the search is on for the machine's future home, while final business paperwork is still in the works. WL will hold its next meeting at Little Hall, room 119, at 5.45 this evening. The vending machines will likely be on the agenda. Reporting live in the newsroom, Henry Coburn, WUFT News.